Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 6. And, uh, I might have to eat a little bit of crow here, because, um, first three episodes of the season, I was saying that, um, they were doing a better job than last season. Last season's really quick pace, just, um... Well, you know, it was it was good last season, but I thought it was an improvement. First three episodes in. And a lot of people were complaining about the show being slower. Um, and I was basically telling all those people that um, their attention span was, you know... Uh, it was just like wandering, or it just wasn't... Um, it wasn't good, basically. Um... I want to apologize a little bit to those people because um, I am now, I think, one of you. Where, see, my problem that with the show after watching last night's episode is, like I said, I didn't want there to be just nonstop blowing like zombies' heads off every single week. Because after a while, you know, it would just eventually feel monotonous, pretty much. Um, but the thing is, and I don't mind all the character stuff that they're doing, but the thing is, they're repeating different things. We see Carl get shot, Lori and, um, and Rick discuss about whether he's even, he even should be saved. Is it worth living in this world? Two weeks later, we're talking about abortion, which is not the same thing. It's only actually, it's only called abortion because it's still a fetus. So, you know, it is kind of the same discussion, the exact same discussion. Glenn and uh, whatever the farmer's daughter's name is, they go into town to the store again. First time is to get it was to get Lori a pregnancy test. Second time, it's to get Lori abortion pills. It's the same thing. Except the first time they had sex, second time there was a zombie attack. Um, I mean, you know, Shane and Rick's like discussions over and over again. Yeah, enough. And Sophia, the thing with Sophia is they should either drop it or do something where we could just forget about it, or find her. Like I said last week, we're not going to find her to the end of the season. I've accepted that. But then, do something where you don't have to hear about it every single week. Because I'm thinking, like, um, like season two of Lost, they were looking for Walt. And the joke is that Michael yells, you know, Walt, over and over and over again. But after about ten episodes, and they didn't repeat it for the first ten episodes, after about ten episodes, they had the father character, Michael, on that show, just go off, and he, like, disappeared. So the search for, like, Walt just stopped until Michael showed back up later in the season. It wasn't something they were kept on, you know, like, jamming down our throat week in, week out. If you're not going to resolve something, we don't need to hear about your, how you're not resolving it every single week. It's... It's just not dramatically working. Um, so, my apology, apologies. Um, maybe I wasn't seeing things as clear the first three weeks. I'd have to go back and check. I thought, I mean, the thing is, the first three weeks, the character stuff was, was I thought, really, really good. Um, but, like, you know, T-Dog's done nothing. Um... The farm thing... Uh, I forget it. Sophia's mother's done nothing. Uh, we got Daryl. We got. We always have somebody bedridden. Um, it was Carl, now it's Daryl. Um, Andre and Shane finally um, had sex with Ice, which we, you could probably see coming in the first uh, episode this year is eventually going to happen. I like that she was a little more humble. Um... I did like the thing that Dale is kind of in Shane's face. You don't quite—I don't quite know if Dale feels um, just protective of uh, Andrea or if he wants what's between her legs. I don't know which one yet. Uh, so he's either pissed at Shane for getting there first, or he just doesn't like Shane in general. I uh, don't really know yet, uh, but it seems to be that they're walking that line of which way. Um, 
and Shane is just can really be was really like brutal to Dale. I kind of like that setup for things. Um, so that was good. Uh, right now the farm. The big secret is I got a bunch of zombies in a barn. Some of them are family members that the the old farmer guy can't let go of. That's disappointing to me because it turns out like he's just an idiot. He's just going to let them sit in there, break, you know, chicken's legs, throw them in. I mean, you know, so we just can't face the situation. Um, that's disappointing. I was hoping for a bigger kind of secret. Um, maybe, my, maybe my hopes are too high. I don't know. Maybe it was. Um, also, Frank Darabont who I found out was actually still on the show around this time. I thought he had been gone earlier. I gotta say, I may need to apologize to AMC a little bit here because I can understand what, what their problem was. Because um, it looks like they take a break after next week's episode, and it looks like that like break spot um, is kind of where there was the split where Darabont left. Um, the show needs... Uh, a kick in the ass or a steroid shot or something because it's um, it, it's just it, it's moving not even that it's moving at a slow pace it's just it's not nothing's happening they're just repeating what's happening and which is nothing um, so yeah I just I don't know um, I will say the the, the Rick Lori conversation at the end was really, really well done. It was, it was cool that uh, Rick's reaction to it, it, it showed Rick not being an idiot, um, which, you know, you can really look at him as for not trying to figure, not being able to figure this out, but uh, I'm, I, I enjoyed his reaction, and that was, a, that was something, if there were character moments like that, or like the ones with Dale and Shane in this episode, or some of the stuff with Daryl this season, if that is the stuff that populated you know, these episodes where they're just chilling at the farm, like, all of those things, like that, with, you know, a zombie thing thrown in here and there, be loving it, but there's too many... There's too much of nothing going on. Uh, now, that's gonna change next week. It has to change next week. Next week's episode has to be fast-paced, um, because it has to make us want to tune back in in February, uh, which I'm gonna do anyway. Um... But I'm expecting them to leave the farm at the end of the episode. Kind of how the way we ended the first season with them leaving, you know, Atlanta, not knowing what the hell was going to be next. We're probably going to be leaving the farm, not knowing what the hell was going to be next. Um, but uh, we'll see, I guess. Um, all right, I think I, I covered... I don't know. This video is long enough, so whatever I didn't cover, I'll cover at a later time. But, uh, yeah, Walking Dead, get your shit together. Starting next week, please. Um, yeah, get together. Alright, adios.